Anthony Star here with the the other boys on the boys, <laughs> and this is the auto complete interview. <laughs> That's here. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. The boys. New season. Yes, there is. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> the boys' new season. We're on season four. Okay. Season yeah. four, June 13th. We're coming up. June 13th. That's it. Be there or be square. All right. It's wild. Right along. <laughs> Who That's from the angle. boys <laughs> is in Gen V? I make a, an appearance. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I just, appeared by video in someone's funeral, which is right. very weird. Mother's milk gets no love in Gen V. <laughs> yeah, <I mean>. Yet? <laughs> Move her right along. Okay. <laughs> is the boys' diabolical canon? It mostly is, but then if it was strictly canon, um, we couldn't have it on air. A lot of what's in the graphic novel is is a little too explicit. So yes, yeah, true. But there is a lot of. But we're pushing it. Yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> This season, there's a lot of pushing and a lot of pulling. There's a lot of. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Throw it there. Can we throw please it away. do the next question. Here we go. What the boys on? Amazon Prime Video, baby. Why the boys is so good? Because the deep. And then that's why it. the boys is so good? Chase, would you like to take it? I said why the boys is so good? The deep. Okay. The deep. You're gonna laugh. We're gonna get canceled. And nah. you're gonna get mad. Never. And you're gonna cheer. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna... You might cry. Yeah, and you're gonna throw up at least once per season. Why the boys is so good. That's why it's so good. Watch yeah. it, find out. Uh -huh. Does the boys have powers? <laughs> the boys do not. No, but two girls in the boys have powers. Uh -huh. Kimiko, and now that Starlight has become a turncoat and, and abandoned uh, any turncoat. sense of loyalty, bit in the hand that her feeds her, she has powers and she's... Uh, and the boys. boys. The girls and the boys have powers. Yes. There we go. But the boys and the boys don't. Okay. No. We covered that one. Does the boys have post credit scenes? We have a bonus footage. Do we? Yeah. I don't know. We got bonus footage. Is the boys like the comics? Very much so. Obviously the premise of the show, which is uh, actually I, my favorite uh, thing about the show is, is it's flipping the superhero thing on its head, is a direct take from the graphic novel, I know that the people that write the comics like it, them to be called graphic novels. Mm -hmm. Right. It makes them feel more grown up. It's a very graphic novel. <laughs> is the boys raunchy? No, the boys not. You gotta watch it. Right. There's no raunchiness in the boys. Define it's, raunchy. Yeah, it's raunchy with a purpose. Is the boys satire? There's a lot of satirical elements to the show, but it is not a straight Satire. A lot of it is. Okay, well, you take this one then, Jason. No, it is. It is. It is. No, there is. There is a lot, but there's a lot that's not. It's true. Does Chase Crawford <laughs> sing? Happy birthday. No, I don't. Yeah, that's a clear no. It's a clear no. Hard <laughs> pass on You've heard me sing? Have I, yeah. It's awful. Oh, that's mean. I'll sing, I'll I'll sing like that? Creed in karaoke or like Guns N' Roses. I'll try, but that's, that's it. Creed. Yeah. yeah. Did you just think? <laughs> Did you sing on the show? Oh, I did. It was scary. I did sing. You are so beautiful to me. That's right. I did. It was. It was scary. You did a duet with Pat Oswalt. Duet with the Mushroom Trip scene. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Who does Chase Crawford look like? Look like. Most of the time, I got Ian Summerhalder. And who else? That's about it. Have you ever taken a picture or signed an autograph as him? People have actually, yeah, thought I was like, oh my God, I loved you. And like the fan part saw me, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, come on, get in here, let's take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love you too. Yeah, this show was great. <laughs> Chase Crawford, related to Tony Romo. He is my brother-in-law, yes. My sister married him. We were big Cowboys fans growing up, so it was very exciting for us. Nice. Did she marry him for her or for like? He married in for me, basically. I that's, what, that's what it was. Our Chase Crawford Blake. And Blake lively friends. We did Gossip Girl together, so yeah, we're still we're still good friends. We text every now and again. And when I'm in New York next, I'm gonna I'm gonna look her up and we're gonna we're gonna hang out. So yeah. Nice. Chase Crawford. Browse. What? <laughs> eyebrows. Eyebrows. Give him some brow, bro. Chase Crawford eyebrows. They're 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 real. They're like Brillo pads. You can just scrub the kitchen down with them. You didn't get that reference, did you? I know I got it. You have nice eyebrows too, don't you? Oh, I think yeah, you're well. welcome. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Laz Alonso, oh. Fast and Furious. That's yeah, true. He is. That's true. That's true. I proudly can say that I was in one of the original Fast and Furiouses before they 
went into space. <laughs> or cars turning into submarines like we were very grounded little over the top in the one that uh that we did and, and i'm very proud of the the work that we did together nice how did lazalonzo become famous that bathroom scene that's how lazalonzo got me. <laughs> <laughs> getting whipped with the baby oil so there was a bathroom scene very yeah. early in my career what Where oh we, we need to pull this up who's got a who's got my phone i got my phone you should google it <laughs> Regina Le- King. Laz Alonzo Oil. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the next one. Wait. Uh, <laughs> that's a year. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. That's a good that's a good one. Is Laz Alonzo in a fraternity? In a fraternity. It's a good question. I'm actually not. Um, when I was at Howard University, every single fraternity was suspended off campus. Mm. Mm. And they didn't come back. Really? Until Why? the semester that I graduated. Sub- suspended? Yeah, man. Black schools at that time. Yeah. It's back in the 90s. They took pledging very, very seriously. Mm. Oh. oh, I see. And for that reason, there was nobody to pledge while I was there. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. Interesting. Laz Alonzo. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. So uh, at one time in my life, I used to ride motorcycles. And I became very close with the Rough Riders. I was on BET at the time, so I would make sure that I would give them love. So I was an extension of the Rough Rider family. Nice. And when Aaliyah passed away, we all did a big tribute to her. Oh, nice. And I'm in that video. I miss oh, you. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Laz Alonso. Yeah. Hablando Espanol. Laz Alonso, Hablando Espanol. Yes, so my family is natively Cuban. Uh, I was born in the States, born and raised in the States. But yes, I still am very tied into the Cuban and the Afro-Cuban community. Hablo español, me encanta mi comunidad latina, y gracias por apoyar este show, The Boys. There we go. There we go. I don't know what he said, but I'm a clap. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Jesse T. Usher, a train? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading this <laughs> Are you a, Are you a train? I believe they're saying A train. I do play A train. Um, I like playing A Train. He's awesome. I'm even wearing like A Train blue right now. You know what I mean? I was channeling my inner A Train for this. And month. you can pick up your A Train blue jacket at jessetusher.com. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse T. Uh, Usher and, and Samuel J. Jackson. L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yes. It's upside down. Upside down. Samuel J. Jackson's my cousin. Upside. Samuel J. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, yeah, I did Shaft with Samuel L. Jackson and Richard Roundtree. One of my favorite film projects that I've ever worked on. Uh, one of the most influential people that I've ever worked with. He's amazing. I'm saying. He is amazing. Incredibly professional, uh, very knowledgeable. You can just, you know, he reeks of experience and he's got over a hundred movies. Crazy. And at the time that we were shooting Shaft, uh, his birthday passed and he wore the jacket that had all the movies listed that he had done. Like, oh, wow. Crazy. Back, which was kind of awesome. You know, that's sort of like one of those iconic moments that everyone's going to remember him by, and I got a chance to see it. Jesse T. Usher. Birthday. Birthday. Yeah, I get that one a lot because I was born on leap year. I'm a February mm. 29th, oh, okay. 1992 oh. baby. So, you know, people always wonder if that's true. Yeah, it's true. So how old are you in leap year? Leap year years? I just turned eight this year. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I celebrated my eighth birthday this year. Yeah, and my daughter's very excited because she turns Aww. eight next year and we get to share. You have a combined the birthday. Same age. Yeah, she's been planning this for years. She's like, when I'm eight, you'll be eight. And then we can, like, <laughs> I'm like, do what? I don't know. We'll have an eight year old's birthday bash together. You really should, bro. I will. That's amazing. I mean, she brought it up. I have to. I love that. Yeah, That's great. And you're all invited. I'd love to be there. Yeah, come, <laughs> come break a pinata and jump on a bouncy house with us. It's going to be great. JCT Usher. <laughs> Hannah Montana? Why don't you just give that reaction? <laughs> yeah, man, look. I, I, I didn't expect that. As an actor, you play a lot of roles, and that's one that I, at the time, I was very excited to be on that show. That show you was huge. Yeah. Are bro. Hannah Montana? I'm not Hannah Montana, but I did do a guest appearance on Hannah Montana. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. And it was the last show that I had worked on that had a live studio audience. When was that? Yeah. This was, oh my goodness. I don't know, I was probably. 
15 at the time. 15? Well, probably, yeah. What would that be yeah. in leap year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost four. Three. I was, was almost three. I was three and three quarters at the, I was, if, if, if I was even 15 when I did it, but yeah. Mm. Jesse T. Usher. Physique. Physique. Falling yeah. apart, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to... Res- Jesse T. Usher physique? I don't know. I'll go if you want. No, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take this one for you, baby? <sighs> so, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I was born this skinny, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> so you do work out. I do work out. You do work out. You I do work carry out. yourself. You Absolutely. I watch what I eat. Yeah, you know, I'm very physical. Yeah, things man. like that. Okay. Anthony Starr. Anthony Starr. At least they got the name right. How did Anthony Starr get, get Homeland? Homeland. Yeah. It's a good story. I was shooting something else and I put a tape down with, a, uh, with an iPad and a spot on the wall out of anger because my reps were hassling me to do it. I said, I don't have time. And so I literally spat an angry audition out. I did the exact same the thing. Did you? I'm not kidding. <laughs> they called like the day before, was like, hey, can you turn in a tape tomorrow? And I was like, no. And they literally they kept, they, they like nudged they and really I got, nudging. yeah. Were you working too? Yeah. Yeah. I was working. See, I was unemployed. <laughs> me I too. Was, he's like, I was thrilled to see I was so happy. I to mean, audition for the show. Anthony Starr, New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, these are just Google searches, yeah? Yes. So, yup. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand is where I'm from, and uh, proudly so. We have 4.5 million people, wow. apparently. Three sheep to every man. It's a beautiful country. Um, uh, nicknamed the land of the long white cloud. God, I got nervous. Yeah, I got too. nervous. <laughs> I didn't know where that was going to go. <laughs> Anthony Starr, facial expressions. <laughs> we just got like three just now. <laughs> Meme a lot. Literally, we just got three just now. Facial expressions. There, there's one. Uh-huh. There's my favorite one. <laughs> there's several. I think it was after. I had a panic attack on stage. Homeland, I had a panic attack on stage just before I see the cow and uh, was walking along having a bit of a debrief mm. with myself and went like that. And I, <laughs> they've memed it. I look like a fucking hot air balloon. <laughs> look like I've got the biggest, weirdest face and it's not doctored. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, I don't even know how oh, that, that meme is great, though. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's my favorite <laughs> one. But I, every time I see it, I'm like, damn, I'm ugly. Uh, I'll nah. tell you, <laughs> your memes keep the show relevant yeah. in between seasons. Yeah, for sure. 100%. It don't matter how long it takes for the next season to come out. You're going to get a good homeland to meme <laughs> at least two, three times a month. Yep. There's a lot of memes. It's There's a amazing. lot of me memes. Yes. Memes. Does Anthony Starr like playing Homeland. I love playing Homelander for many reasons. Eric Kripke has given me a lot of rope and we've got a great collaboration so we've been able to create what I think is an interesting character. character. We also have a fantastic bunch of people. Um, everyone except the cast is great. I'm kidding. These guys are great. The cast is great. The production team is great. The publicity is, people are amazing. We've got a, it's a very rare thing to have a chemistry set like this where there, it's just a very, across the board, decent bunch of human beings, which means a lot. So I love playing home later. All right. Oh, God. That was man. awesome. I had a great time. <laughs> I had a good time. Wow. I had a good time. Wow. It was fun. Oh, it was fun. Oh, geez. I think my Google search is I haven't had this much fun since I We're the best. Command. Keep searching. Google. Thank you so much for watching us do this Wyatt interview. We love you guys. See you soon.